What's up guys? Beautiful morning here. Fishing the beaches of New Jersey. Uh, looking for striped bass this morning. Crack of dawn. Throwing a seven inch pencil popper. And we're gonna get right into this somehow. Wow, we totally blew it guys. I didn't film this, but uh, I got a nice 27 pound striper. And I wanna take a picture of him. All right, well, the, uh, the bite, he just barely slurped it off the surface. And then uh, he just like, didn't fight at all. Too bad I didn't have that on video. But that's a nice bass right there. All right, that's my first big fish of the fall right there, 27 pounder. And uh, we're definitely gonna release him. Uh, nice, uh, you know, big fish. Take a look at him, yeah, real nice fish. Yeah, we're gonna let him go. There he goes, 27 pounder. Just totally on the blind, totally on the blind. Sucks I didn't have that camera recording. All right, all I was doing was casting this uh, seven inch tsunami talking popper. And uh, there's not really anything going on out here. And then all of a sudden, 27 pound bass slurps it off the surface. I wasn't paying attention at all. I felt the bite. I didn't even see it after I felt it, but the fish was on there. And he didn't even like pull drag at all. So, kind of random. Really good stuff. Seagull just flew into my line. Maybe we'll get lucky and get another one here, but uh, at 27 pounds, you know, my luck might be done for the day. We'll see. Oh yeah, right there, baby. Right there, baby. Yeah. Oh, that's another nice fish right there, guys. That's another nice fish right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice bass here, guys. Nice bass. I'm uh, not messing around today. I'm looking for these big fish. So I'm using my 9.6 Tier Alejo Pen Clash 5000 30 pound braid. And uh, we just hooked up on another nice fish here. This one actually, you know, destroyed the top water and then ripped drag like he was supposed to. So this is good stuff here. Oh, yeah. uh, he's not as big as the last one, I don't think. Which is crazy that he's fighting a lot better. No, he's not nearly as big. He ain't no 27 pounder, he's hooked funny. All right, let's see if we can get this fish. Get down with the boga grip here. All right. 27 pounds is a tough act to follow, but this one here isn't bad either. Let's um, get this fish unhooked. I hate it when all three trebles are in the gill. Oh, that's actually not bad at all. All right, he is uh, significantly smaller at 12 pounds. Nice little fish though, you know, healthy fish, really healthy fish. Let's get her back in the water. Let's get my rod out of the water. All right, we're gonna go ahead and release it right here. Let's see, Let's see what we can do with this. All right, guys, we got two pretty good fish. I got a 27 pounder and then a 12 pounder, and back-to-back -back cast on a pencil popper. Let's see if we can get another second fish. Fought way harder. I thought it was going to be just as big. 27 pounder had no fight. It was just kind of wobbling around. I think these fish are kind of following it to shore. They both hit it pretty close to the rocks.
Right, we got some uh, bunker getting worked by bass here. Check it out. Definitely bass coming through on these peanuts. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes they don't hit artificials when the peanuts are thick like this. Look at that. That's awesome. That's good stuff right here. Look at this, they won't touch a lure. They won't touch a lure, but it's going off. Try casting out past the school. It's going off right there. Maybe, uh, look at all these peanuts close to shore. Yeah, this is what we've been waiting all year for, guys. This is it. This is it. This. Now, a lot of time when these bass are on peanuts like that, they won't hit a lure. If you cast into the school, they won't hit. And that's what just happened. Other times they're in attack mode and they'll hit. But uh, right now it's not one of those times. It's not happening. I think I have a better shot casting outside the school. We got peanuts on. Three peanuts on our treble hook right now. Man, they're not hitting though. That's the messed up part. But it's good, you know, it's nice to see. All right, so this little blitz lasted only a few minutes and I couldn't catch any fish. Most of the guys around me couldn't catch any fish. I did see one get caught, but there was way too much bait, and there was only so many stripers. You know, there's like 5 million bunker and 30 stripers, and like, they, it wasn't an all-out blitz. But um, the original plan for this morning was to fish with my buddy Tom and our kayaks out front here from dawn until whenever the wind picked up in the afternoon. And long story short, uh, my kayak was on Tom's truck, and on our way up here, Tom realized his wallet was missing, and he had to go back to where he was to try to find it. Um, so during this time, like, my kayak was on Tom's truck on the parkway somewhere. He was driving or, like, looking for his wallet. And it really sucks he didn't find his wallet, but, uh, I don't know. He showed up at about 8 a.m., and we launched our kayaks. Woo! Yeah, we're in there. It was, it was easy. All right, we got the kayaks out because that was the plan for today. All right, yeah, so we've launched our kayaks out here hoping to catch more fish. Uh, the bite from shore was short-lived and like kayaking was the plan all along. All right, it's been a slow start in the kayak. Probably been out here an hour. I've seen very few fish. A lot of bunker. Yo, there are some fish blowing up on these bunker. I'll tell you that. All right, we gotta catch a bass though, you know. There's certainly bass working this school, unless it's blues, but certainly something working this school. Not catching them. But there's definitely something working, these bunker tails. 
coming out of the water. Look at that, man. Oh my god. Come on, baby. Where you at, man? Again, I didn't have the camera rolling. Luckily, I checked while I was fighting this fish. We got a huge bluefish on right now. A live bunker, 30 pound leader. Huge bluefish. Really big bluefish, oh my God. Really big bluefish. I'm using the light tackle. 20 pound braid. Damn, this is the biggest bluefish I've ever caught, for sure. Really big bluefish. Oh my god. Dude, this bluefish is freaking pretty freaking big. That's like a tw that's like a It's a big bluefish. Huge bluefish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, this bluefish is fucking monstrous. Holy crap. Holy crap. Dude, this blue is ridiculous. See that thing, dude? Big bluefish, dude. Ridiculous. Ridiculous bluefish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. I got a scale. 20. 20. No doubt. That's a freaking giant bluefish. Yeah, 20 pounds for sure. It's gotta be, it's so fat. Oh my God. Dude, that's a freaking giant. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's 20, uh, he's like 22 pounds, dude. Woo! That is ridiculous. I gotta get a picture of this thing. It's insane size. Hold on, I gotta, I'm gonna try to get a better weight on him. He's like just under 22 pounds. Oh, damn, son. Damn, that's ridiculous. I never caught something. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. That's. That's a big something right there to the whales, dude. This is good stuff. Oh my gosh. I should be doing the 24 hour kayak fishing challenge, but yeah, 22 pound bluefish. Easily the biggest bluefish I ever caught. Just ridiculous size to this fish. That's the best fish I've caught in a long time. Mouth on him is legit. I don't even want to throw him back. I just want to, I just want to like <laughs> hold him for a while. Yeah. Dollar a pound. Now nah, I let him go. That's real sick, man. I'm, I'm psyched, dude. That beats my PB by so much. Yeah. Damn! Holy crap. Dude, I'm lucky, man. Very lucky. The thing kind of just easily sliced through this 30 pound leader. Damn, dude. I want, that's just. Did these bunker disappear? Bunker's not getting hit though. Had one bite on the bunker all day. Working it for hours. Apparently we should be 10 miles south, 20 miles south of where we are. Wind is getting stronger and stronger. Might not have too much time out here. There's really not many fish out here anyway. I'm gonna let this bunker ride out, ride this last bunker out and then we're gonna head to shore. But um, yeah, it was pretty slow, but I got a 
27 pound bass off the beach and then got 22 pound bluefish so all in all it was not like a quantity kind of day it was more oh my god god dang dude that scares me <laughs> oh my god that whale is freaking crazy uh what was i saying what the hell was i saying uh something to, oh there he goes yay all right, that's all we got for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. 22-pound uh, bluefish, 27-pound bass, a whale, you know, seeing some blitz activity. Really good day of fishing, and uh, hope to see you next time.